I think we're just ready to MSQ like right away. Then dive right into some juicy stuff. You have a lot of points. I think I'm just in savings mode right now because I don't know what to do with them. I'm turning to I can oh wow, that's expensive there, All meetings today? Ugh. Sounds like, what's the point of working from home? <laughs> if it's all meetings, you might as well have just gone there with every, uh, and get everyone together. If it's knowledge you seek, we've told Let me help. I know my letters. Uh, good morrow to you, my friend. I have compiled some new entries. If you would like to see them. I've been meaning to show you. Noise. You know, if I ever took the time to like read absolutely everything, this game probably has an intense lore and story to it. <laughs> if you There's so much. Me, I should be happy to answer it. What is it that you wish to learn? Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. Here you are. Hmm. Well, as seeing as this still goes on, at least it carries over to New Game Plus. Uh, which would suck, because now it means I'd have to do all the side quests. Again. Um, there's still quite a bit left. Come again. I may have more for you. works how are my potions looking i don't even know how many potions i have on me right now we good <clears throat> all right do the iron works i can push the right buttons there we go
right, Clive. My dad had it all worked out. He'd be proud of you, Mid. His writings may have helped, but this achievement is all yours. <laughs> Can we catch them? The INA is one of the largest, fastest vessels ever built. And it won't help she has the wind at her back. Any other ship would be hard pressed to keep pace with her, let alone reel her in. But this isn't any other ship. This is the Enterprise! And the world's never seen anything like my dad's engine. It certainly hasn't. Clive, what do you know of Barnabas Tharm? Only what the bards sing. And he sailed to ash from southern lands. But it was his mastery of the blade which won him the throne. And that his sword, Odin's sword, can sever the very threads of creation. But don't lose any sleep over a last tilt. We'll do what we must to survive. What we must. The light! I thought this cool was meant to be hidden! Mid! Company! Hey? We'll hold them off until the ship is ready! But hurry! Ba -ba Everyone with me? That's quite a bit of them. Over here! Over here! 
Dead? You dead now. Oh. Easy enough. All right, you lousy lot. Get your asses on board. She's ready to sail. You heard the captain. <laughs> Clive. Oh, he's still alive. He's an Akashic now. Confound it. Then it is as I feared. Sleipnir is no man, but a creation of Odin. Oh. What the fuck? Phoenix's fiery fundament. Have you no normal enemies? We are right, Lord Rosfield. My boy, there was a time people called me the executioner. Who was my ass? No matter, heads will roll all the same. Mate, you plan. You leave, we follow. Follow? Swimming, are you? Oh, bugger me. Way anchor. Engine dead slow ahead. Care, my friend. It is not blood that runs through an edge's veins. These foes will not fall easily, but they will fall. Are any cooldowns? I have no AOE. Good thing I brought one. How long are we meant to keep this up? As long as it takes. Unless you have a better. Well, I've already killed at least five of the bastards. Fuck it. Let's do the last. Ow. At least they're all using the sword, not the spear. <laughs> nice. E for it. Phoenix Dash. Something. Okay.
the Naldia Naro. The IR. What do you want? That's quite a mess you've made. And wholly unnecessary. You are my offering to Muthos. I would not see you damaged. I got a feeling he's gonna do like a Xehanort to Sora. He's gonna like stab her in front of me and my guy's gonna lose control or something and get pissed. I don't suppose Mid has a spare engine? <laughs> Since you rose from the grave, my fortunes have plummeted. Are you absolutely certain of this quest of yours, Clive? The foes you face are as terrible as they are numerous. Aye, and they'd have us live and die on their terms, which should answer your question. Ah. You have that same stubborn look as your father did when he set his mind to something. On the battlefield, I am but a single axe. A deadly one, mind, but a single one nonetheless. Yet what you require is a thousand, and I believe my old friend in Brandala can provide them. Take care, Clive. I have many more tales of your father's exploits to share. And I cannot very well do that if you're dead. Again. Good luck, Uncle. May fair winds attend you. As for you, Joshua, take care. I shall do my best, Uncle. Farewell, my nephews. When next you see me, it shall be with an army at my back. Ha <laughs> ha Do keep up, my boy. Well, we can't have him showing us up now, can we? We would never hear the end of it. Dion. Pray God have mercy. He's looking for his father. Or or his lover. Hamkin wag, Hamkin wag, Hamkin wag, Hamkin wag, Hamkin wag. <laughs> Subs like, what up? Thank you for the sub, man. I appreciate it. It worked now. <laughs> it worked today. How you doing, man?
<laughs> Doing pretty good. Just woke up. We just uh just hopped on not too long ago. It's been about 20 minutes. Already had a nice exciting battle to start the stream with. It's nice. Any ship heading north has to round Zemeckis and put through the narrow. Maintain our current bearing north northeast, and we'll catch the Black Galleon before she vanishes again. What's to prevent her from circling around Ash from the south? With these winds in those waters, it's taken forever and a fortnight to reach Stone here. Mid knows what she's talking about, Clive. Better than any of us, lot anyway. I say we do as she tells. Sails on the horizon. She's ours. Look alive, boys! Full ahead! And keep those furnaces fed! Aye, aye! Do you feel that, Jill? All hands! Battle station! Pressure was having another shrimp for breakfast. She needed the protein. Let's see what this girl can Gotta do. feed the kids. When does she do? When is she gonna have babies? <laughs> I think you can sacrifice one shrimp because you're about to have like 30 more, right? <laughs> so I guess it's all okay. slice the boat. Need a shield. Or reflect. Through the maelstrom. How are the other shrimp taking? Are they like, do they fear of her now? Or do they just like accept it? They're like, ah, oh, they, 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 he was the chosen one to sacrifice. <laughs> yeah. They split the shrimp. Oh, so you got like two, two armies in there? Segregated? Did they segregate by color? <laughs> it's 
shrimp politics. <laughs> <laughs> they chilled out after the AIDS Zoidberg. Zoidberg was the issue. Uh, he was the common denominator. They're like, eh, you know, things are actually better now that he's gone. <laughs> Still don't like what you did, but things are looking looking lighter. <laughs> Is she the only pregnant one? Or do you have multiple? so far but more female have their eggs ready for the next mold which should be on Sunday or Monday okay I wasn't sure if they're like bugs and they like designate a queen or multiple can be pregnant <laughs> I think like three icons at the same time is pretty cool to use, but I think if they just let you use one more, <laughs> I think things would really, because I am still waiting on cooldowns for a lot of things sometimes. But I think just if they let you wield one more, I think things would feel really good.
Where I came from or where I'm going, I'm not sure. That's where I came from. I don't hear anything going on like above them. How do they just sit here? <laughs> Taking on water. Jill, you came. Get back. Uh. Uh. Clive, how did you? I'll explain later. Hands. before me but a guttering flame. Then... Ah! 
Sheesh. He seems way more powerful than like all the other ones for sure. <laughs> oh shit, he split the sea. We're falling. We're sinking. For me now, back when you can. All right, baby. I guess they handled the flipping and rotating of the boat pretty well. <laughs> can you go on? I think so. You, what did you do to Joshua? Phoenix? Oh, I expect he will survive. This consciousness in which you coil your feeble souls is grown thick with desperation. And thus has my master turned to my blade. The world will soon be painted in black. And all that live shall gather in death's autumn wake. Not if we remove the cause of this misery. Not if we destroy the last of the Mother Crystals and restore balance to the world. Come. Do you truly think it's so simple? The blight is inevitable. Not even the Almighty might stop its endless march. Your efforts will avail us naught. Naught, that is, but suffering. You must embrace the truth, Mythos. Accept your place with the Lord. Keep it. As long as there's a chance, there's a choice. Never led astray by your blind resolve. Now, it is time you learn the inevitability of your divine fate, however much it may hurt. Get as far away as you can. Clive, no. Trust me, Jill. Now, yeah. good start. We don't have to do this. Oh, but we do. If only to remind you of your opportunity. That was a delayed swing. I was ready for it. Fuck. 
He like swings a little slow. I don't accept him. Oh, that didn't do anything. I think he's gonna get that off. Came back. You're supposed to run. Do you not see? Your iron will weighs you down, dragging you ever further from your purpose. And what is my purpose? Mythos. Who are we? What are the dominance? The breath of the Creator still warm on our lips. We carry his light that we might guide the masses in his name. We are but mighty acts of God. We are more than that! You would be nothing without what he has granted you. The power we wield is his, and yet every time we draw upon it, it wears away at our very being. It breaks us, it unmakes us, that its immaculate aspect might reveal itself. The Icon. It is too much for even his chosen few. Apart from you, Mythos. You wield the might of many, yet your body does not answer for its avarice. What are you saying? What I am saying? ...is that we dominance are a means to an end. We were created for you... ...that you might drink deep of our strength... ...and thereby fulfill your divine purpose. Which is... ...to feed. As you would know... ...could you only look beyond the walls of your prison of self-regard. As long as you choose to ignore this, you shall never penetrate my defenses. Still, you may take solace in the fact that you are not alone in your plight. The chains of volition shackle all of mankind, but there is yet cause to rejoice. For the Lord, in his mercy, has taken pity on his flawed creations shall see them restored to their proper forms. And what exactly would that be? Why loyal servants to God? No. Manners, Lord Rossfield. They are men, like you and me. Albeit one's... Uh, unburdened 
by the wills that drive our kind to madness. They are pure. They are divine. You mean to turn everyone Akashic? Not turn, Mythos. Turn back. For too long has mankind been led astray by their clamorous wills. It is time they return to a world of quiet equality, where they might once more know salvation. Salvation? And abandon everything we hold dear? We don't need your salvation. We'll save ourselves, and we'll do it on our own terms. Not yours, and not your gods. With every defiant expression of your will, the tighter the chains of consciousness become. But perhaps that fact may be put to use. faster it binds you to the remaining dominance, the stronger your hunger will become. Until it leads you back to the only answer there ever was. Mayhap not by the path my master intended, but back all the same. Ash is not far. I could freeze a path. You're in no fit state. Probably not, but I can try. Don't look back! Clive bested. <laughs> that was not a good bit. Meeting rescheduled because people are away. Oh, okay. Welcome back. Level up. We just got wrecked. The impulse will damage by 10%. Impulse must be a Bahamut move. The others are safe. The Enterprise was clear of the gap when we fell. They made it, Jill. And they will have seen the ice where it led. We need only wait till dawn. Are you young? I think he's gonna be pissed. He's missing it. This is best in me. Powerless against him. Maybe there really is nothing else for it but to give yourself to his master. Only you won't do that. The Clive I know would never do that. So you believe? But do you really know me? If what Barnabas said was true, then... To the man. And each time I summon the flames from within, I burn away the things that make me who I am. Do you, though, think of what you've used that power for, of all the people you've saved? It, it doesn't matter how or by whom it was granted, only how you choose to use it. You've chosen to use it for good, haven't you? I've also used it to kill. What if that's my purpose? What if it's all I'm good for?
still that same boy I grew up with. Always so eager to save everyone around you, and yet always so low. Because you failed to realize the one thing that needed saving most of all. You, Clive. You. You never once took the time to save yourself. Myself. I think I might be beyond saving. No one is beyond saving. Provided they want to be saved. You fight to survive. And you survive so that you may protect those you love. It's what you do. What you've always done. And I know you're not about to change. So I'm going to help you. To give you what you need to protect us all. Oh, she's gonna donate her power? Now? I feel like our senses are not this deep. No, not yet, anyway. And this glowiness doesn't happen when I touch your boobs. We gotta change that though, this is cool. Sir, finally, come on. My last breath. You better not skip out on it. Clive. I promise you, Jill. We will find a way to escape this fate. Find a way. And I promise you, Clive, that I will be there, no matter what you must become. I know. The fuck? <laughs> Look up darkness. Finally. Get it out. Get it all out. <laughs> I 
I hate when anime games do that, where they just like take the whole game to get one kiss. Sometimes it don't even happen. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, man? What of Barnabas? Do we pursue him? No. Our paths will cross again soon enough. Whether we like it or not. Besides, there is something we must do first. Of course. Drake's spine. The last mother crystal. The Einherjer is at the bottom of the sea. Walud won't dare move on storm without her. But they know we're coming now. We'll need a plan. And a damn good one at that. Then let's go home and find one. Ash will have to wait. <clears throat> I join, in my opinion, chat to something about naked chats. <laughs> I had to take the day of streaming today, unfortunately. Off? Dude, you've been streaming pretty hard. You gotta have days off, man. You wear yourself out. It says Odin split the sea in two. She's always been partial to a tall tale. But as tall, and then as tall. I struggle to believe it myself. I see your uncle isn't with you. He stayed with the Enterprise. After our brush with the Einherja, she was in urgent need of repair. And my uncle knows a shipwright in Randalar. We're to join him there when we're ready to sell for Ash. I'm sure that's what Although, at least I got Shiva powers without the worst happening. With a Show me a city where that isn't true. Ultima's plague. I thought they were going to kill her off. We've been running out of time, aren't we? We've done our best to shore up that hideaway. I doubt a few planks will stop what's coming. Still, we'll keep at it. Every little helps, I suppose. Let's hope so. The power of ice. Clive has claimed a portion of the icon she was as tuning with Shiva not only changed the elemental aspect of Clive's magic spells, but also allows access to several new icon abilities such as Ice Age and forcefully knocks back enemies at great distances. Play details in the main menu. Oh, I get a dash with circle. Okay, it's probably gonna get used now. She was iconic feature, cold snack. Can be used swiftly, move left or right, and back to either dodge attacks or closing on the enemy. I should visit Joshua. Assuming Talia will allow it. And there's only a spot for one more. Here we got. So this is the dash. Okay, it can freeze people. 
That's an expensive spell to learn too. I got 7,000 power. Okay, um, details. What happens if we increase it? Increases the frost duration. Unleash a river of icicles that greatly knocks back enemies and strikes, but hold the button to increase potency. Oh, okay. Launch multiple shards at the ice that striking lighter enemies draw them towards Clive. Can be used in midair. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. What's the master for that? Also fires three shards behind Clive. Oh, so it does it all around me. What's this one do? Extends precise execution window. Okay. So I want a colossal ice crystal that deals continuous damage to all enemies that become trapped inside. Hmm. What's the ultimate? It's like a full stagger. I don't know what to use now. I do still enjoy Odin's thing. I could bring this with me to... Uh, if I master it, I can use it as the ice icon and not have to worry about this. What are the other two spells I'm using right now? This one, it's like three and three. And I don't use... Oh yeah, use the ult. That's just four and three damage. Um, hmm. I think I do like this ult better than Chiva's ult, looking wise. But it's way more expensive to use it. Um, hmm. I don't really care for that that much, but these two skills seem cool. I can use this still as a uh, the Shiva because I mastered it. Uh, I don't know what to do. I like it, but I kind of want to try it out. So which two skills do I want? That's the question. Maybe just one skill. I like the Poland, but it just says it doesn't work on larger enemies, right? Hmm. Okay, let's actually um, go to the icons. We'll get rid of Ramut for Shiva. And then what we got? So I can still use this and I can um, I can use one of the skills. It uses the suck in by default. I guess I'll try that. Actually, I lied. I'm gonna upgrade the uh, the judgment bolt. And then equip it. We're gonna be lightning, but they're gonna have the circle ability of the of Shiva, which seems really good.
one, two quests. Heard the bad news then, did you? What bad news? I only stream on weekdays, five days a week. Isn't that bad on me? I'm used to working seven days. I stream for nearly 14 on Tuesday. <laughs> no, it's good, man. You need days off so you can manage those longer streams. But I've got other problems. Akashic. Every creature in the area is either turned or on the way to turning, apparently. Zoltan and the others are living on borrowed time. They need help and quick. Doris sent a few curse breakers to keep an eye on things, but there's only so much a couple of scouts. For me personally, I found more success having more stream days than having longer streams. I, it's probably different for everybody, but for me, it seems to work better having more streams a week than having like three really long streams. I won't let that happen. Didn't think you would. Does Blackthorn know? I thought it might be better if he didn't. He'd only do something stupid. You reckon we should tell him? No. It's better this way. Yeah, well... I can't stand about knowing what's happening out there, so I'm off. I'll see you in Dravost. I think people are just ha it's like more accessible for a lot more people. They can't it's like a TV show. They come in, they watch you for an hour, and then they go and carry on the rest of their day. And either talk about what happened on the stream or they're you know, they're happy that they saw it and then they'll be back for the next part, the next episode. <laughs> so for me I've noticed like that's been more successful. The people like burn themselves out trying to watch it for 24 hours straight it's always it's good to do it every once in a while i think but as a special Clive. allow me to educate you ba -ba, do do For me, usually too, when a new game comes out that I'm super hyped for, those are the days I go hard. I go long. <laughs> I usually, I'm like a little kid on Christmas. I like to fucking play. My new toys. Ice brand. It's an upgrade. Not bad, if I do say so myself. I got mail. Looks like we're gonna be back on the uh, side quest adventure here. Thank you for helping me guide my mentor free from his moral coil. Contrary to what the madding crowd believes, we physicers are not without our limits. I cannot hope to cure every ill man, every wound, save every life. The only medicine that will see you home safe without fail is prevention. Not that this knowledge will ever stop any of you from chasing down some behemoth for its toenails. Sir, I and the other curse breakers have grown concern regarding the well-being of the captain. Despite the apparent unrest, her recent investigations have visited upon her. Lady Doris refuses all offers of assistance. If it is not too much trouble, I would ask that you please speak with the captain and learn what the troubles what troubles her so deeply. There's no way of knowing if Doris will confide in me, but I can speak to her at least. Where are you? Can 
I hope you said. I'm looking for Doris. Is she here? I'm afraid not. She's at Martha's rest on a job. My job, actually. When she heard what the mission was, she insisted on going herself. Alone. Did she? What was the mission? Following up on some new information. Once they'd settled in, the bearers you helped liberate in the Dragon's Airy were keen to talk about their imprisonment. And about their captor. The slaver Cole's team were tracking when they were attacked by the Beastmen. I'll go and find her. She's at Martha's rest, you say? If she's not moved on already, yes. I hope everything's all right. Why would Doris insist on going alone? Maybe Cole was right to be worried. How was she? The Enterprise, I mean. Ah, Sid. <laughs> Just the man I was hoping to see. D d did you have a mo? Mo. Tell me. You need more bomb ash. Oh, no. We still got plenty of that left. I'm working on bringing another one of the Chief's designs to life. This time, it's a new smelter. It's got a reverberatory hood over the top for additional thermo amplification and a system of reciprocal recirculatory regenerators that, that um, let's just say it gets big R -words. thin and hot. A heck of a lot hotter than anything Blackthorn's got in his forge, that's for certain. Only mithril engines get hotter, and you can't chuck ore in one of them and get metal out the other end. <laughs> Trouble is, we won't be able to make out of any old rubbish neither. We need the good stuff and I hear you once helped Helena get her hands on exactly that any chance she could help me too need her <laughs> I thought we said that it was weird he didn't even to. say neither he went need her <laughs> I promise you so what exactly is this good stuff you need me to find Got a couple of examples here. Spherical echoes, we call them. Spherical. Material. Spherical. So the <laughs> to the mithril engine in more ways than one. That's right. They're a bit like the thermal helms. Fallen ceramics deal with heat like nothing else, see? And what's more, they're directional, transferring heat from the inside to the outside. But these things, they're all outside. If we line the hub with them, they'll reflect the heat right back into the furnace. We've collected as many as we can, and I know where we can get the rest. Trouble is, they're all watched over by their bigger, uglier cousins. So you want me to visit some ruins, destroy some echoes, and bring back the spheres they're guarding? That's it in a nutshell, yeah. We're only three short, mind, and we know exactly where they are. There's one up Amber Way, in that ruin that they call Lost Plume, and another in the Silent South over in Dalmechia. Last one is in the ruins of Advent, which is in the Empire. All right then. Wish me luck. Will do. I'll be keeping all my fingers and toes crossed. <laughs> Jackie, you say spherical, right? Not spherical. <laughs> Boom. Oh, look at all the quests. Are these all acceptable quests or are these ways two quests as well? I think these are ones I gotta accept. Oh my god, there's a lot of them right now. It's like a many of the quests as you find in FF14 in one zone. Let me go talk to the quest dude and make see if that's all the quests. Look, 
I mean, this guy's only showing me one. Oh. Oh my lord. <laughs> There's like eight quests to do. What the fuck? Spherical what? Do you say the word spherical or do you say spherical? The guy just literally said spherical. Like it threw me all off. I wasn't sure if that was like a European thing or not. Yeah, instead of spherical, he said spherical. No, you do not. Okay. And he also said neither. Instead of neither, he said neither. He said it with like a D. <laughs> soon be without a home. What's happened? The High Cardinal has descended from his lofty throne and taken up residence here in Northreach. The High Cardinal? Leader of the Council of Elves. Was he Irish? I don't know. Only to his radiance at the head of the Imperial government. Not that any of those things still exist. Now he goes by his noble title, the Duke of Oriflam. And what does he want with Northreach? He wants to transform it into a military stronghold. A foundation upon which to build a new Sambrek. He's already secured the support of the various army remnants. With promises that they shall be afforded the respect they deserve in his empire. One built on the confiscated property of the people. He would rob the populace to pay for it. Believe me. I have used every means of persuasion to discourage him from this folly. But for whatever reason, he will not listen to me. What does Captain Philippe make of this? When the town was under attack, it was him the soldiers rallied around. Couldn't he use that influence again? How? By speaking out against one of the most powerful men in Sambrec. A man whose stated aim is to revive the Empire Philippe's comrades swore to serve, and to improve the soldier's lot within it. The captain can offer them a regular supply of gruel, and an occasional trip to the Vale to help them forget the terrors they face each day. The Duke offers them a vision of strength and safety. No. Any attempt to incite mutiny would cost Philippe the support of his men. If it did not cost him his life. But given the mood around town, mutiny may yet be unavoidable. The people have little appetite for further deprivation. Least of all when it serves only to elevate others. And who could blame them? Clive, would you appeal to the Duke on my behalf for your services to Northreach? You have the respect of the soldiers, and they will take you to his eminence if you ask them. And unlike Philippe, no bonds of loyalty prevent you from speaking your mind to the man. Well, will you try? You could hardly fare any worse than I did. I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Clive. Tell me then. Where will I find this Duke of Oriflam? In the garrison? Overseeing the troops, yes. All right. Wish me luck. I'm just gonna grab all the quests first, and then we'll make our rounds. Do I have that quest? Or is it just sitting there? That's like part of the new one, right? Yeah, it is. I'm able to track any more quests. I can only track like three quests. That's fine. We'll go grab them all anyway. Um, this button. Nope. Oh, look at 
what's happened. Dance and engage with the right old Beric. The same three times. Ah, Clive. You'll be pleased to know that the negotiations are progressing well. That is good news. Yes. Our comrade in Randala has just sent word that the contract should be signed very soon. But I still have much and more to prepare. It's a huge undertaking moving this many bearers at once. You couldn't do me a quick favor, could you? What is it this time? More wild beasts? Nothing like that. I just need you to go over to the caravans and ask El how long we have until the bearers arrive. Find out exactly how much faster I need to get all these supplies moved. All right. I'll go and ask. Thanks, Clive. I owe you one. Hmm. I'm starting to feel like Tears of the Kingdom with all these quests. So circles are ones I don't have. Diamonds are ones they're in, in the middle of. Okay. All these quests, although they're all pretty easily achievable. Remember this one I need to refill on the call for. Lord Rosfield, is there aught the Undying might assist you with this day? Perhaps. My brother said that your order was helping him with his quest to uncover Ultima's origins. Have you learned anything of note since last we spoke? Little and less, I regret to report. I see. Be assured, however, that we will not rest until the truth is known. Even now, our archaeologians scour ruins in every corner of the realm for traces of Ultima's touch. Fallen ruins, I take it. Dating back as far as Phoenix Gate. Archaeologians. I think that's the first time I heard it said like that. <laughs> fallen civilization, as if protecting the secrets concealed within. Secrets we'd see unearthed. Should our methods be of interest, my lord? Mayhap it would please you to observe some of our number at work. Would that be possible? Of course. A survey has been conducted not far from here. Perchance you are familiar with Kretov. A small hamlet built around a fallen airship. I was due to visit my colleagues there to collect their preliminary findings, but if you would consent to do so in my stead, I'm sure that they would be honored to relate any discoveries they have made to you directly. All right. I'll go and meet with them. They will be most gratified, I am sure. Might I suggest you take the road through Titan's Wake? It will lead you straight to the village after but a short walk. Thank you. I will. I wish you a safe journey, my lord. May the Firebird's flames burn ever in your heart. Like everyone I've ever worked with or talked to before, no, they all have something for me. This has got to be like the last of the side quests or something. It's like something big is ha gonna happen after this.
We're back. Let's go. To what do I owe the pleasure? I just wanted to see how the town's been faring since you brought everyone together. Uh, since we brought everyone together, all is absolutely wonderful. <sighs> Conrad and Natalie's hands remain safely away it's from each other's six. Throats, Jesus, that's fine. And firmly at the helm. Our stores are full, and the bandits still too disorganized to raid them. Just as the good Lady Jane and Lord Underhill intended. Are you a lord? Lubor's going to be one too. They're going to make him the Lord of Dalinil. Because of how he stopped all the grown-ups from fighting. It's the mayor of Dalinil, dear child. And the vote hasn't taken place just yet. But if the people wish me to lead them, I shall. And my first act will be to build a school so that menaces like you two learn not to interrupt your elders. Speaking of menaces... There may be a rather worrying one just over the horizon. May there indeed. I'm afraid the example Conrad and Natalie set in putting aside their differences in presenting a united front might have caught the bandits' attention. And they might have elected to take a similar approach. They have formed what one could call a League of Outlaws. And they grow more organized by the day. We'll fight them all off just like last time, no matter how many of them there are. Won't we, Lubor? Of course we will. If we continue to work together, we can overcome any challenge we choose to face. The longer we avoid facing this one, the more difficult it will be. Until the only way to overcome it might be to run for the hills. Our best hope <laughs> is to nip these efforts at organization in the bud. By finding those ne'er-do-wells who have yet to join the cause, and ensuring that they never do. Perhaps a certain Lord Underhill might be willing to lend us his aid once more? How could I refuse? <laughs> Thank you, my lord. Victor will fill you in on the particulars. I have him stationed by the desert gate, receiving and collating reports from my scouts. Such an amenable soul. He reminds me of you. I'll go and speak with him. Maybe that's all the quests now? Or is like one more left to get? What's the difference between... And there's one more left to get. And then we'll start knocking them out. I feel like a speedrun of this game... Is only gonna be like three hours long or something like that. Like the cutscenes and the side quests, like really fill in all the time. But if you skip all that stuff, it's literally only gonna be like a three to four hour game. <laughs> it's gonna be pretty funny when I do New Game Plus and see how fast it moves. Dora should be somewhere nearby. Assuming she's still here. Clive, I was just about to send for you. I'd like you to take something to Sir Wade up in Eastpool. Seeds for planting. Thought it was about time they started growing their own food. I'll keep providing them with whatever they need in the meantime, of course. But if Eastpool's going to survive, it's got to be able to fend for itself. As of those poor bearers. They've lived their whole lives in servitude, but now they're their own masters. Small wonder they ain't got the foggiest out to provide for themselves. So it's up to us to teach them. And if you're wondering why you, well, the wagoneers taking supplies up that way have been coming back with more and more reports of Akashic around the village of late. So Wade's putting a brave face on it. But I think even he's starting to worry. And if he's likely to share those concerns with anyone, it's you. All right. Thanks. Wouldn't ask if I didn't have to. There. That should be enough to keep them in Gazal Greens for a few years at least. Gazal Greens? Not the most mouth-watering crop, I'll admit. 
Bizarre. I've been saying it wrong the whole time. I've always called him Guy Shulgreen. Zalgreen. Chocobo's leaven too, which is no small thing. When I say all of us need to pull together to get Eastpool back on its feet, I mean all of us. They ain't exactly succulent, but cook them right, and they're just about bearable. I'll take your word for it. Anyway, Sir Wade'll know what to do with them. And if he don't, well, I'll go up there and show him myself. I'm sure you will. Alright. I think I want to do the plus ones first. Well, I don't know. Maybe I do closest. Catch your eye. That all is it? <sighs> Nearly done. Somewhere here. I've got greens of Looking all for shapes and sizes. Colors too. Where's for doors? Am I blind? Do I not know who doors is? It's been a pleasure, Doris. Just like old times. I'll give your offer some thought, my lady. How goes the investigation? Sid, what brings you to Martha's Rest? You. I heard you were out here on your own tracking our slaver. I trust you're being careful. Of course. And it had to be me. The bearers from the Dragon's Airy confirmed a long-held suspicion of mine that the slaver we've been tracking is an old acquaintance. She's no fool. If we'd come in force, she would have spotted us straight away and then vanished without a trace. That was her just now, wasn't it? So, was it a fruitful reunion? I'd say so. She tried to recruit me. Seems her time in Rosaria is coming to an end. She's abducted bearers from across the region and is looking to smuggle them back into Sambrek. After her brush with those beastmen on the road to Northreach, she hired herself an Imperial escort, which she wants me to join. She's dangerous, Sid, but I think I can stop her. Then I'm going with you. I'll take care of the escort. You can see the bearers to safety. Where are they? The Baum Arches, soon to break camp. You go on ahead. I'll follow once I've sent word back to the hideaway. Okay. Looks like we can knock both of those out in one go, so let's do that. Start here. Oh, 
Ich hatte Eis. <lacht> Thank you. Das Baby. You probably should hang on to the sisters for yourself, though. <laughs> you seem to need them way more than I do. Dum, dooby dooby dum. Worse today. Why is it worse? What'd you do? I thought it was only happening yesterday because you were tired. And you get like weirdly just full of snot when you're tired for some reason. <laughs> Is it allergies? Are you allergic to spider season? We've waited long enough. She's not coming. <laughs> Ready the bearers. We're leaving. Back to civilization, is it, Mom? With all haste. Lest any of you lackwits start talking like these feckless bumpkins. I presume your men are ready. We've suffered too many delays. Backless. Any more, and I'll be docking your pay. Uh, yes, Mom. I don't know what feckless means. Oh, but before you go, it appears we have company. Kill him. Bitch, you don't know who I am. You're welcome to try. Do 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 do. Feckless is irresponsible. Why can't he just say irresponsible? So much for your escort. <laughs> You'll forgive me for not avenging my men. I'm not the swordswoman I used to be. I surrender. Do with me as you wish, Sid the Outlaw. Sid. Ah, Doris. I take it you're not here to rescue me from our brooding renegade. You know, I always wondered where you'd vanished to. But casting your lot with this criminal of all people. Better fighting for a cause than killing for coin. I'm sorry, Sid. I should have told you sooner. This woman, my former master, once trained bearer children to be weapons in service of the highest bidder. She raised me like a daughter, and I did terrible things to earn her favor. It wasn't all terrible, surely. We had our fun, too. You were always so eager to learn, and had such clever hands. All my other children took either to the blade or to the books. Always either or. But you proved yourself a master of both. That's why I kept you for my own. How about it, my little dagger? Care to swear that blade to me again? I never 
swore my blade to you, nor will I ever. I fight for a higher cause, to liberate the bearers of this world. Farewell, master. Thank you for making me the weapon I am. You always were a righteous child. Perhaps that's the reason I loved you so. What do you want to do with her? I am not the killer she wanted me to be. Not anymore. And she no longer has friends in high places. The dame does, though. Her connections at the Imperial Court will see that justice is done. All right. If you're certain. I am. And thank you for everything. Now, I better let these bearers know that they're safe. I should head back to the hideaway and put Cole's mind at ease. Not yet. I got another quest to do right here. Don't take me back. Fuck. Sometime later. Welcome back, Sid. Doris's message just arrived. I hear you saved more bearers from being smuggled across the border. With any luck, they'll be joining us in the hideaway shortly. Oh, and Muleta. We don't need to worry about Doris anymore. I'd been hoping as much. She mentioned one or two things in her report. So the slaver we'd been chasing all these months was her former master. Wish I'd known. She's been arrested, by the way, over in Sambre. Went quietly, or so we're told. But she won't be getting off lightly. The Empire may have no love for bearers, but it's none too fond of black market traders either. Can't have been easy for Doris. I'm sure it wasn't. But don't worry. She'll be alright. I hope so. Suppose you should know, eh? You had quite the past yourself before you came here, or so I understand. Anyway, thanks again, Sid. The Chaos Breakers would be lost without Doris. And you, of course. Keep up the good work, Cole. All right, next quest. I'm going to go back. I want to do these plus ones first because they're usually an upgrade to the character in some way. The dash needs to be like a longer dash, I think. I'm 
would be a little better. Got a lot of recovery yeah. damage. Right I guess you got to do it like that. Still has a lot of recovery damage. All right, zone done? Nope. He's full. We gotta find Wade. I heard the Guardian saying we're supposed to grow up. Ah, Lord Rossfield. What brings you to Eastpool? A delivery from Martha. These are Gizal green seeds. Martha's keen to cut the apron strings, then, is she? I jest, of course. You see, I had thought we might be able to revive the old wheat fields, but they'd long since gone to seed, only without the seeds. Martha was hoping you might be able to show the bearers how to plant and tend these, so that they'll be able to fend for themselves. That's not a bad idea. 
These bearers had only recently escaped their bonds before we brought them here. They know little of freedom, of providing for themselves and their loved ones. Unless we teach them how to live like free men, I fear that all we have achieved in bringing them here is to exchange one master for another. Not that myself and the Guardians have been the best example to them so far, subsisting almost entirely on Martha's charity as we do. It's about time we all started to provide for ourselves, bearers and Guardians alike. Unfortunately, we've been a little too busy of late to focus on much besides bolstering our defenses. There have been alarming reports of... The Horde is closing in. They're coming, so wait, all of them. Time it all. I thought we'd have more time. Gather the men in the square. Send to the rest for reinforcements. Yes, so wait. The Horde. A Kashek, a veritable legion of them. They've been seen prowling around the northern reaches for a while now. We don't have the numbers to hold back a swarm that size. I had hoped to build a perimeter wall so that myself and the Guardians might be able to defend the village, but... Now you're out of time. Precisely. If reinforcements from the rest arrive before they do, we may just scrape through, but I fear that's rather an enormous if. What if you could call on reinforcements from Eastpool? You mean the bearers? We brought them here so they might live, not die, fighting for their lives. So wait. You said you lacked men to defend the village. But the bearers not men. Do they not wish to see Eastpool saved? Though they may not be trained soldiers like your guardians, what help they are able to offer could still prove the difference between victory and defeat. You're right, my lord. I will... appeal to them. Supposedly there's a Nintendo Direct today. I've been hearing. I don't know if I want to watch it or not. Trying to think if there's anything Nintendo has like said Friends, besides like RPG aid. and Wonder. We guardians are few and our enemies many, but I swear we can defeat them with you at our side. You would send us to the slaughter to serve as bait for those fiends, so that you and your men might be spared. And to think we trusted you. Say what you will. A home is not worth dying for. But it is worth fighting for. Sir Wade fights to give you lot a chance. Just like I do. Just like Sid does. We all wanted to give you a home where you could be free. And you got one, didn't you? This place, Eastpool. This is your village, your home. If you don't fight to protect what's yours, you'll lose it. You know I'm right. This world wants to take everything from you. Everything. Your homes, your freedom, your very lives. So then, are you going to stand by and let that happen to you? Are you going to accept fate like good little Bran did and die having never stood up for yourselves? <laughs> you fight like free men and women. I'm fucking frying pan. What? What are you doing? All right. Give me a sword. I never dreamt I'd have a home of my own. And now that I have, I don't want to lose it. I will protect what's mine, or die trying. We all will. Free men and women, fighting together. For Eastpool! For Eastpool!
Thank you, Martha. So all these side quests is like getting everyone united. Don't mention it. To fight off the Akashic. That's cool. You'll show them how freeborn fight. <laughs> Gladly. Well, if it was numbers you were lacking, you certainly won't be now. Thanks to you. Me? Oh, I just love the sound of my own voice. Lord Rossfield, my lady, we're ready. So what's the plan of action? We'll divide our forces into several small detachments, each made up of guardians, bearers, and guards from the rest. These will position themselves at strategic points around the village. Upon engaging with the Akashic, each detachment will keep the creatures occupied as best they can, steadily retreating all the while. You're going to lure them into the village? I am. We will have neither the time nor the resources to treat the wounded, so injuries must be avoided at all costs. Instead, we will focus purely on defense at first. By coordinating our withdrawal through the use of messengers drawn from among the bearers, we will aim to have the swarm converge at a point of our choosing. They're going to turtle. With luck, <laughs> that point will be the village square. The perfect place for our most able warriors to surround them and fall upon them. And for you and I to finish them off. A sound plan. But one that'll require a leader with a cool head and strong nerves to coordinate the retreat. I'd say you have both in abundance await. But you'll be needed. Please, leave the last of the fighting to me. Ha! And let you have all the glory. Sir Wade! They're here! Then you know what you must do. We work together. Everyone playing their part. Each shielding the other that no man might fall. That Eastpool might live on. For Rosaria. For Rosaria! We've no time to argue, my lord. I'll do as you ask. And I will do as you ask. Suppose we'd better do our bit too, then, eh? Right you are, Martha. Before the storm. Akasha goblins. And here it comes. I will not let this village fall. <laughs> that just feels good to do. Just watch them all die. No, I wish. Scorpions, they have everything here. Nice, I saved Judgment Bolt. Oh, uh, only looks like a few jugglers. I actually really like it a lot when they send like a hundred dudes at you at one time. It's pretty fun. <laughs> Looks like that's the last of them. Lord Rossfield, change of plan. What is it? Owl from the rest. An Akashic curl's been sighted on Rhiannon's ride and is headed in their direction. Well, the better half of her guard is here. So wait, 
How many Akashic remain in East Pool? Hard to say. My men are still facing some resistance, but I think the worst is behind us. I could order a detachment or two to fall back and... No. Let them finish the job. You stay here too, Sir Wade. Your men need you. I'll go after the Curl. Join me only when East Pool is won. If you're sure, my lord. May the Founder protect you. the ice does any damage. I'm so like over level compared to these guys. I don't know if that's meant to be or... I might try to upgrade the um, the ice stash. See if it does anything. Lord Rossfield, the curl, is it? It's dead. Thank the founder for that. And for you, my lord. We were able to eradicate the rest of the horde. I have guardians posted around the village to keep watch for further attacks, but all seems quiet for now. I hesitate to say it, but I think it might be over. I think it might. We did it. We saved Eastpool. Thank you, my friends. Thank you. No, Sir Wade. It's us who should be thanking you. You brought us together. Showed us what it means to fight for what you hold dear. We never had nothing to call our own before. We didn't know what it 
they meant to protect it, but now we do. We really do. Forgive us, Sir Wade. You and your people saved us, and still we doubted you. But there's no doubt in my mind anymore. We're free men now, so we have to start acting like it. We have to fight to protect what's ours, to protect Eastpool. And we shall. We all shall. Together. This is our home. And if anyone or anything tries to take it away, they'll have us to answer to. Come on, then. Let's get to work. This village isn't going to rebuild itself. They're not slaves anymore. No. They're Rosarians. Your father took pity on the bearer's plight, and I believe if he were still with us today, this is what he would have wanted. I believe you might be right. I shall remain here, my lord, and do what I can to help rebuild the village. After all, this is my home now, too. And I could hardly call myself an East Poolian if I didn't pull my weight. <laughs> East Poolian. I think you'll find it's East Pudlian, Sir Wade. Pudlian. But you should be proud all the same. I'll have to pull my weight too. Can't have the rest getting outclassed. Speaking of which, I ought to be getting back. Can we continue to count on your support, Martha? Of course. And I'll be counting on yours too. Us Rosarians have got to stick together, haven't we? Indeed we have. And Clive, come by the Golden Stables when you get the chance. I ain't paid you for delivering them seeds yet. All right. I will. Do you ever say Oxfordians? Because <laughs> I have said Buffalonians before. Do you remember our very first mission together? Clearing the goblins from the Stillwind Marshes. <laughs> How could I forget? There's one side that I shall never forget. <laughs> you, facing off against that giant mauble. Not a trace of fear on your face. Since that day, there have been more than a few times when I felt like giving up. When the odds seemed so... Or Oxenians? Favor, <laughs> Oxenians? I'll just lay down my sword and surrender. But every time, I would think back to the look in your eyes that day and remember what it means. I think I like Oxfordians better. <laughs> know that whatever trials Eastpool may face, I shall never lose courage. Thanks to you. So wait. You have always been a true shield. Oxonians. I know that Eastpool, <laughs> and indeed all of Rosaria, will be safe in your hands. Ox onions. Thank you, my lord. I know the rest <laughs> of the world will be safe in yours. I'll do my best. Do, 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 do. Hero returns. It's lucky you came by when you did, eh? Not only did my seeds get delivered, but you went and saved Eastpool and all. I just did what I could. I like onions. I don't think there's nothing wrong with being an ox onion. Take it before I change my <laughs> mind. Thank you, Martha. So, Eastpool's finally back on its feet again. And a home to free bearers. Who'd have thought we'd see the day, eh? Well, it was your idea. Oh, I know that, but I never stopped to think what it would mean. Bearers in charge of themselves, thinking for themselves, working for themselves. Like your hideaway, but not even hidden away. Though I suppose the rest ain't much different nowadays. You know... Bearers living free like that. Reminds me of when I first met Sid. Old as I am to recall that particular day. 
I take it you didn't always see eye to eye. What happened? Well, if you really want to know, I started doing what I do long before I met Sid. In fact, that's how I met him. Or at least how he came to meet me. He showed up at the stables one day, asking questions about who'd been buying up bearers. Founder knows what he thought I was doing with them. Running a hunt, poking around in their innards. Something awful, anyway. Me, I thought he was a new constable. <laughs> poking around in their up. innards. <laughs> but somehow, <laughs> both managed to work out what each other was about. And before I knew it, the cheeky arse was rattling on at me about how I was doing it all wrong. After all my hard work, <sighs> told me I was giving them relief, but not freedom. That my bearers were still dying as slaves. Right under my skin it did. Told him if he didn't like it, he could bugger off and report me to the garrison. And do you know what he did? He smiled. And then he laughed. And then I did the same. We made a pact that day. That whenever one of us was in need, the other would always be there for him. And you were. Well, we both wanted the same thing. To make life better for bearers. Just like your dad. Do you know, I was born right around the time Elwyn became Archduke. Growing up, I saw how he tried to change things. He certainly didn't lack for ambition, that one. Indeed. For the loftier one's ambitions, the harder they are to achieve. Which is why those of us who follow in their footsteps need to finish what people like Sid and my father started. Suppose you're right, aye. And if we don't manage it, there's always them who come after us. Good thing we've got a few half-decent sorts waiting in the wings, eh? It's almost enough to give you a little bit of hope. Hmm. <laughs> Just a little. Anyway, enough nattering. Better get back to work. Let's see about making everyone some dinner, shall we? The least the folks who saved Eastpool deserve is a hot meal. And you and me ain't gonna save the world on an empty stomach neither. That sounds like a wonderful idea. Quest complete. Well, that seems like a lot of experience. <laughs> Nice. Alright, done? Donezo's area complete. Next. Mm, do 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 this one next. Things back the way it was. I don't know how they did it. Still in Dalamil, Victor. Ah, Sid. I thought you'd have returned to Kosnis by now. I did. Then I came back. I've developed something of a fondness for the place. And having worked so hard to see it saved from one fate, it would seem remiss to abandon it to another. A sentiment Master Lubor certainly isn't shy about exploiting. Hence my doing his bidding yet again. You're not the only one. What does he want you to do? He asked for my aid in putting down the bandits. And he said that you might be able to help me find them. Then you've come at just the right time. I was on my way to speak with Conrad about how to organize our forces. There are more camps in the vicinity than we can safely strike at once. But we must strike together, and we must strike soon, at as many camps as we can. We can't give this League of theirs time to rally its forces. All right. Which camp shall I take? There's one upriver. Just out there, across the dunes. Leave it with me. Good girl. Those ne'er do well. 
All right, let's go straight. Do, 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 do. That must be the camp Vic dimension. Come on, then, Togo. That's him. The one who killed Locke and Fingers. Take his head off. Wake up. The birds are loud. It's like I have windows open. I better let Victor know. Sid, where are you? Ah, I see the bandits didn't pose you any trouble. No, but that's not why you're here, is it? No. Something's happened. We need you back in Dalimil. What is it? The whole town's in uproar. They're saying that Lubor is a bearer. What? Seems that one of our parties wasn't as thorough as they should have been. They let one of the bandits escape, and his escape route took him right through Dalamo. Some of the children spotted him, and he was about to silence them. And when Lubor felled him with a bolt of magic, and without a crystal. But that's not possible. It is, if he's a bearer and has been hiding it all these years. Which is what people are saying. If he has, well, I wouldn't blame him. No man is branded by choice. Still, all those people see is a man who's lied to them all his life. One who has made a leader of himself when the world believed he should have been a slave. Fuck. I don't know where we go from here. But I know one thing. Lubor needs all the friends he can get right now. You're right. And now everyone knows. I made it a habit to keep a crystal close at hand for just such an occasion. And when that occasion rose, I forgot to reach for it. Well, it was bound to come out sooner or later. We're sorry, Lubo. We tried to keep running, but we just couldn't anymore. There's nothing to be sorry for. I rather enjoyed playing the hero for once. All that matters to me is that you two are safe. Look at him talking to his betters like it's nothing. All lies, I'll wager. Just like the ones he fed us all these years. Once people make up their minds, it's hard to change them. We need to do something. And quickly. Convince the people not to let their prejudices blind them. Convince them that nothing has changed. That their enemy lies outside these walls, not within them. You're right. We should speak to everyone. I'm glad you agree. I'll handle the townsfolk. Good. I'm a downlake born and bred. They listen to me. Good. <laughs> you head to the tavern. Make Conrad and Natalie remember who Lubor really is. They know that Lubor and I are friends. 
I might not make for the most impartial of interlocutors. Lord Underhill of Randalar's League of Merchants, however, is a trusted and impartial mediator of note. I'll do what I can. Lubor, stay here with the children. I can't promise anything, but we'll try. And that is all I can ask of you. Why do they always have to make such a fuss? You all along, Lou. Forgive me for disturbing you, but could I have a moment of your time? Hmm. I've seen your face before. As have I, Lord Underhill, wasn't it? Of the League of Merchants. Uh, <laughs> that's oh, yeah. right. I wanted to speak to you about Lubor. The rumors that he's a bearer. All true, I'm afraid. He'll never be mayor now. Not if I have anything to do with it. But what if his wares? Bearer or no, his steel is highly valued throughout the Republic. In this, at least, he's done the town a service. Might that not earn him a little leniency? Leniency? He pretended to be one of us when he was laughing behind our backs all the while. I'm sorry, my lord, but he lied to us. He lied to you. He cannot be trusted. So what do you propose? Will you drive him from his home? Close his forge? Perhaps. That is a question for the people of Dalamil. And they will thank you not to get involved. Townsfolk have made their minds up. There was nothing I could do. Nor I. Conrad and Natalie refused to consider anything but their own wounded pride. You never know. Once their anger is cooled, they might see things differently. For now, we should report back to Lubor. All right. Assume the situation is hopeless. There's still hope, but but perhaps not in this lifetime. I think it's fair to say. You mustn't think like that, Lubo. Give them time. They'll come around. We'll talk some sense into them in the end, you'll see. No, you won't. And your efforts would be better spent elsewhere. But Lubo... Rosina would often tell me... ...that steel does not lie. That a blade is a reflection of the smith who forged it. If yourself be true, that was her point. Rather an ironic one, when you consider that her life was taken with a blade of her own making. But I do not doubt that she was always true to herself and what she believed in, right to the end. And so must I be. I must do what I know to be right, no matter what others might think of me. And now, I know what that is. I must embrace my new role of villain so that the people of Dalamil have something to unite against. For only united can they hope to stand against the threat that awaits them. I'll need to make a suitably dramatic exit, of course. Don't go, Lubo. You're the only one who was ever kind to us. We'll be all alone. Again. Trust me, little ones. It is for the best that I go. Not only for the town, but for you, too. How could it possibly be for the best? These children need you. The least you can do is give the townspeople a chance to change their minds. They would not take it, Victor. It's over. Over, you say? And so just like that, you're going to throw this town and these children to the wolves? I thought you were better than this. 
But it seems you had me fooled as well. Victor. Forget it. Do what you will. Are you sure you're making the right choice, Lubo? Of those available to me, I believe it's the best one. Yes. Ah, but where are my manners? Here. A reward for clearing out that bandit camp. Right then. I have packing to do. If there's anything I can do. Anything. I'll bear it in mind. Thank you. Uh, but people suck. <laughs>